Hello and welcome to the session. This is Professor Farhat. In this session, we're going to be looking at the adoption tax credit. This topic is covered in an income tax course, the CPA exam regulation section, as well as the enrolled agent exam. As always, I would like to remind you, my viewers, to connect with me on a personal as well as a professional level. You make sure you have a LinkedIn account, and if you don't, please create one. It's very important for your, uh, for your uh, professional career to have a LinkedIn account to connect with other professional in your in your fields. And if you have a Facebook account, I do have a Facebook page, like my Facebook page or connect or and connect with me on a personal level on my Facebook page. Uh, you want to make sure you subscribe to my YouTube. This is where I house all my lectures. So please uh, make sure you do so like the YouTube if you like them, share them, put them in playlist so other people can benefit as well. I do have a link, uh, Twitter account and on my website, you can get in touch with me and have access to my lectures organized by course and chapter. This recording is brought to you by Jaeger CPA Review. If you like this recording, you can view hundreds of hours of similar recording on Jaeger CPA Review. You could review thousands of multiple choice questions with detailed solution, simulations, textbook, audio lectures for retention purposes, electronic flashcards, plus others. If you happen to visit Jaeger, use the PMF code, you will get 10% off of the best valued course. You will benefit yourself and benefit this channel. Adoption expense credit. This is our topic today. So basically, if parents, if, if a couple would like to adopt, they will get a credit for expenses they incurred for that adoption because it's very expensive to to adopt. Uh, it costs a lot of money. Um, therefore, the government says, okay, if you wanted to do so, we'll, we'll try to help a little bit. Okay, credit for qualified adoption expense incurred in the adoption of an eligible child. Now we need to know what is an eligible child, but uh, it's basically straightforward. Examples of expenses are adoption fees, court costs, attorney fees, and believe me, they amount to a lot. Um, I did not. I, I I did not adopt a child, um, uh, but I know it costs a lot of money because uh, at some point I looked into it and I know a little bit more about it. So uh, it, it's costly. In 2018, and actually I know a couple right now that are going through an adoption process. In 2018, the maximum credit is thirteen thousand eight hundred and ten dollars. So that's not bad. The credit is phased out for modified adjusted gross income from 207140 to 247140. To 247, now when we say modified, I just don't wanna, don't, don't wanna bog you into what gets modified. I usually just say adjusted gross income because modified it means they may add or subtract certain income from AGI, but sometimes it could be a long list that it's, it's not needed or it does not apply to most situations. That's why I just skip over modified if you're interested. Look in the IRS lectures or look in your book, but that's why I just skip over that modified portion. What is an eligible child? Child that's less than 18 years old of age or physically or mentally incapable of taking care of him or herself. This is what an eligible child. The credit is non-refundable. It means if you don't have a tax liability, you cannot take it, but access may be carried over for five years. Just like the foreign tax credit, you can carry it forward, but you can carry it forward for five years. Not all credit you can carry forward, but this is one of them as well as the foreign tax credit. Okay, so let's take a look at an example. Um, and obviously married taxpayer must, foil, must file a joint return. That's, that's an obvious. In late 2017, Sam and Martha paid $7,000 in legal fees, adoption fees, and other expenses directly related to the adoption of an infant daughter, Susan. In 2018, the year in which the, the adoption became final, they pay an additional 8,000. Sam and Martha are eligible for $13,810 credit in 2018, which are expenses of 25,000 limited in total by the credit ceiling paid in the past two years. So they paid really 7,000 plus 18,000. So they paid in total 25,000. The credit, they can take the maximum credit of 13,810. Although they paid the money in 2017, they can take it in 2018. They will take the um, eligible expense. Assume the same fact, except that Sam and Martha, AGI is $213,810. What's going to happen, it means they are between those two figures. They exceeded 207,140, but they are still below the upper limit 247. 140. Therefore, what we do is we have to reduce their credit. So we'll take 25,000 
divided by 40,000. You're saying, what's the 40,000? The 40,000 is the range. So we're, they're inside the range. So what's 25 divided by 40? Just kind of give you a percentage uh, computation. 25 divided by 40. They're 62.5 percent inside the range. So what, what does that mean? It means they're going to they're going to be losing 62.5 percent. So 62.5 times 13,000. 810 what they're going to end up with is 5179 so they lost 62.5 percent of the 13,810 why because they are 62 percent within this range so basically what's 62 percent so basically they they are someplace here okay so their income is above the limit, but they did not reach 274. If, if they reach, I'm sorry, not 274, 247, once they reach this amount and they go above it, the credit will go away. So at least they can still get 5,179. Let's take a look at another example. Anne and Bill uh, were on the list of a local adoption agency for several years seeking to adopt a child. Finally, in 2017, good news came their way and adoption seems imminent. They paid qualified adoption expense of 5000 in 2017 and 11000 in 2018. The adoption became becomes final in 2018. Anna and Bill always file a joint return. They determine the amount of adoption expense credit available to Anne and Bill if their combined income is 120. What year what years will they benefit from the credit? Okay? So they can claim they're going to take care they, uh, they're going to claim they can claim in 2018 they can claim 13,810 because they paid 5,000 plus 11,000. So they paid 16,000, but we're not, the government's not going to give them a, a full credit for that. Okay? B, if Ann and Bill's modified AGI for 2017 and 2018 is 220,000, calculate the amount of the adoption expense. Well, remember the phase out start at 207, 140, and it ends at 247. 140 okay so they are in the range they are in the range and how much are they in the range let's see how much are they in the range they are in the range approximately this is just not scaling right but approximately they are here okay so we have to do they're going to lose some of the the credit some of the 13810 they are going to lose how much are they going to lose well what we have to do we have to find how much are they in in, in the range 220 minus 207 140 divided by 40,000, divided by the range. And how much is that? Two twenty minus two oh seven one forty equal to their twelve thousand eight sixty inside the range divided by forty thousand. They're thirty two point one five and within the range. Thirty two point one five. So they are going to be losing uh, of this amount, they're going to be losing 32.15. Okay, so this amount times 13,810 that's 4,440. 4,440. Now, therefore, they're going to be losing from the maximum 13,810 minus 4,440. They're going to be so their credit is 9370. Let me just real quick show you how you compute it. You will see it's 13,810 minus 13,810 times 210 minus 207,140 divided by 40,000. Okay, so you'll take this amount minus this which is all of this equal to 4440 which is i did it separately just to show you the the detailed the detailed computation hopefully this makes sense especially working with phase out it appears in many many other different scenarios if you have any questions any comments by all means email me if you're studying for your cpa exam study hard if you happen to visit my website for additional lectures please consider donating